Hello, welcome to the Playbox Neo series How to with Playbox Neo. In this episode, which will be from two parts, uh, we'll learn how to set up ingest and the various tasks associated with ingesting. So let's get started. First, we go to our ingest setup and we'll add, I have one ingest set up here, so I'll go and set up another one from scratch. I give it a name in manual mode, storages, local cache. We, uh, we described how to set up storages and add storages to servers in our previous video. So please check it out. Uh, metadata templates for now it's default. We'll go in details uh, into all this. It's active channel and the time zone is important because this will uh, be used by the scheduling mode where and exactly to start uh, capturing on a particular server. So I'll save this one. And next, what, I'm, what I need to do is go to my ingest presets. I have to set up presets for ingesting. This describes what format of encoding we're going to be using. So the system comes with some presets, but you can set up one for yourself. Let's say this is going to be my test preset and first I have to select uh, the multiplexer which is determined by the media format let's say I would like to use QuickTime and next in video codec I will see only codecs available for this multiplexer, this container type QuickTime for example I can select this one which standard, this is for PAL 25 frames or NTSC 5994, for example. What profile for the QuickTime format. Language, we can leave it undetermined. Uh, let's say for the audio, we want to add 16 or 24 bit. Again, language, we can select language. If we want, we can leave it undetermined. And the layout, is it a mono or stereo stream? So if I have stereo, I have to come here and just enumerate them properly, one, two. If I want to do some changes in the order of these channels, again, uh, I can switch, let's say, source number two to be left and right, so if, if I need to reverse them or so on. So perfect, here I can take a look. This is what it's giving me multiplexer codec audio setup done I have it here this test percent so now I'll delete it so I don't confuse my colleagues later on with it and let's go and check the naming templates naming templates tells us how the files captured will be named when they are automatically captured so we can put various data into the name of the file this is separate from the metadata that we'll talk about later uh, so let's say i want to do year month day double click on each of this will give you the digits but let's say i want to be a little bit more um, easy to read this whole process so uh, I want to put separator. I can do right now, double click, and it put a separator at the, at the end of the sequence, but I want to put separators in between these values. So w one way is to do it after, once you're uh, setting it up, or I can do it postwards like this, taking and dragging here, for example. And you see the result of the name of the file. So I can come and put a custom field and I'll de delete this one. I'll delete it. And let's say I'll add a new one. This is my test capture tag uh, at the end of the file, right? So it's going to be the date and test capture save 
I have to name my template, of course, reminds me immediately by outlining in red. So uh, it's going to be my test template. Perfect. Let's go to our ingests here. Uh, this is my first ingest that I'm recording this video screen with and the whole presentation. Uh, as you can see, I have it as a video source. I've de demonstrated how to set up uh, inputs for the system in the previous video, so please check it out. Uh, and this is my second instance that I just created. So first, I have to select input on my system and I'll select an air box that I have running on this machine as an input. I can select any input defined on this machine. I can switch them on the fly, switch them per job and so on. We have two ingests basically for each job, primary and secondary. This allows you to capture in one format, let's say for video editing, one format for web posting or some other purposes. So you can get like a MPX or a you can get M, uh, MP4, uh, it's so easy to set up. So let's do my first, let's say this is a Sony, um, and the second preset will be MPEG-4. Uh, by the way, if you start ingesting with certain formats, you can your editing software can open them while they still ingest and um, they will keep you know, growing on the timeline so they can start edit while the file is keep ingesting. But this is uh, dependent on the codec for ingest and the um, video editing system. So this, this, this needs to be checked with your particular uh, setup. Auto split, I can set the file to split, let's say in one hour automatically. Uh, I can also split the file manually and you'll see this in a second. So let's say I'll start recording right now. As you see, it created a job and I immediately can see primary and secondary preset created two different files, MXF and MP4. You can see that I can do uh, markers. Markers will leave uh, marks, uh, Put the markers in the file where I can later on um, use them for the video editors to do something. Let's say leave a note and you see how this works. For example, I'll put one mark here and another mark and another mark. And then I'll decide, okay, I want to split the file. You immediately see how the file got split here again. So let's stop, go to my first version, the first part of the file before the split. If I double click, I can see all the information of the file. I can see a preview, play. I can audition and preview the file. I can go scroll through it. And you can see here some markers that I did on the fly. I can go to the first one and kind of stretch it to select a zone. This is this marker. If I double click it, I can change the color of the marker. I can type uh, times on the timeline if I need. Let's say um, cut this out. This is gonna, when you export the file to the video editor system, um, Premiere, for example, reads this type of uh, metadata and it will be able to under understand this. Uh, you have this information and um, the video editor can act accordingly. You can select points of cut here, remove these, this is a good shot, and so on. Another uh, feature, so this concludes our part one of this video ingest tutorial. Please take a look at part two where we're going to be covering scheduled ingest, compliance ingest, uh, metadata templates and more. Thank you very much.